Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to farm in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links, as everyone knows, is a pay-to-play game pretty much, so um, at one point you either you know, spend money to get your resources or you farm. So I chose the farming method because I don't like spending money on games, but uh, let me go ahead and show you how to farm. So first thing you want to do in Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links is get Yugi or Yami Yugi. I recommend probably starting with him because he has more useful skills than Kaiba. But once you have Yami Yugi, um, what you want to do is get to at least level 20. That way you have the skill of Sorcery's Conduct. What happens is after your life waste is increased by 18,000, you draw a random spellcaster from your deck. Um, the farming deck we're going to use is not really random, the spellcaster you draw because we will only run one monster. So, as you can tell, the only monster you run is this, is this guy right here, Mythical Beast Cerebrals. Um, this card is pretty useful because what happens is um, every time a spell card is activated, it gains Founder Attack. So as you can kind of imagine, um, we just keep activating spell cards and get this guy's attack over 10,000. And we attack our opponent and then, you know, destroy his life points and then get the score bonus. Because how you earn rewards in you go Duel Link is the higher score you have at the end of the duel, the more prizes or rewards you, you, um, you end up getting at the end. But um, this is the only spellcaster monster, so... That's why that skill is so cool because we're always going to draw this. It's pretty, it's consistent. Um, the other cards you're going to need is you're going to need this card, Ryoko. You don't really need them, but it helps in getting your monsters attack over 10,000. Um, you also want Shooting Star Bowl. It lowers your opponent's attack by 1,000. And also, you could also um, attach it to this guy and attack directly if um, for some reason you end up in a situation where you can't really um, get over his monster or attack directly. For some reason, but usually you attach this to um, the opponent's monster, and this is for stop defense. That way, because most of the time when this card gets over uh, thirty thousand attack or uh, three thousand attack, I'm sorry, your, the opponent will just play everything in defense, or well, the a AI will anyways. But those are the four cards you pretty much need. These two, I say, you're gonna need the stop defense in this card. This is more optional, but I, I like I'll have it, so I might as well use it. This is more makes it more consistent. Um, everything else you can kind of play around with. Usually what you want to do is have um, spell cards that you could just activate without having to uh, do anything. Because you want to activate more spell cards to get this guy's attack higher. Um, these three cards, these three traps here, uh, you can change them depending on who you're dueling. Like for example, if you do duel Joey, he might, duel, he might summon a random time wizard and make it activate its effect, which could destroy your monster. So you want um, there's a trap card that you can use. Let's see. I forgot what it's called, but pretty much what happens is it's kind of like a trap hole. Uh, when a monster summon with 500 attack or less, you automatically destroy it. Oh, here, we, here we go, this is it. Uh, 8 Gabon? I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but this is what you want to use just in case time wizards get summoned. Um, but you go ahead and remove maybe two of the enchanted javelins and replace it with that one. But let me go back here, go back here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and duel. Weeble. Let's go join Weeble. You can pretty much use this technique on only three duelists consistently. I haven't tried too much of the other duelists, but you can use it on Weevil, you can use it on Rex, and you can use it on Joey. Um, I might I might do a little more research, but for Kaiba, it's pretty much impossible to do because he has this um, MN controllers. So it's pretty difficult to use this technique on him. You have to be like really, really lucky. Uh, who else? Who else? And Taya too. If you try to use this on Taya, you're gonna need like a lot of spell, spell or trap removals because she has this card called uh, Stone Wishes that she activates, and every turn she gets Founder Attack or Founder Life Points, which means that um, by the time your monster gets high enough attack, her life points might be over 10,000, which is uh, crazy. But um, I ha that has happened to me before. But usually, the most consistent duelist to farm is gonna be Joey, uh, Weevil, and Rex. Uh, you're pretty much gonna win 99% of the chance time, unless for some reason, um, usually you want to go second, or go first, then he attacks you, but um, they usually they won't attack more than maybe 20, 000, or 2,000 in the first two turns, um, that way you activate your effect. Well, then, let me go ahead and show you, I've talked enough about this. So let's go ahead and duel Weevil, oh wait, I forgot to mention, make sure you duel level 40, because if you do level 30 or below, you end up getting all these random cards that you can win in rewards that aren't really useful. You won't do a level 40 because the rewards are more consistent. But let's go ahead and do a weevil.
I like the music in this game a lot. It's been, they did a good job making the music. Okay, so as you can tell right now, I didn't draw my card, so I'm just gonna wait. Hopefully, he attacks me with enough attack damage. Alright, good. That's that's enough. Go ahead and let him attack me. The next turn, I'm gonna activate my card. Then I'm gonna draw the monster for sure. So, what you wanna do now summon the monster and just pretty much keep activating the spell cards. It's not as quick as I like, but I mean, it gets the job done for pretty much, you know. So when you're when my monster is usually over twenty uh, nine hundred, the opponent will pretty much just put everything on defense. You'll see right now he'll just summon everything on defense to make some weird plays. Okay, so I drew on my key cards, so I won't use that yet. Pretty much what we're doing now is just stalling until we get all our pieces, or uh, pretty much run through our whole deck, and um, attack her. Do it. There used to be a more easier method um, before they patched it, but um, they patched it, and now you can't use that method no more. Uh, I did a lot of research online. This is the only method um, left for farming. Black Pendant, go ahead and activate that. And now we just keep doing this. I know it's, I know it's a little tedious to watch this, but yeah. Let's wait. I've been playing a lot of KC Cup recently. It's um, a little difficult. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, a lot of uh, people with good cards, and no, one, no, not too many people making uh, mistakes. So I have two key. Cards now. Let me just keep waiting. So we have three more cards to do, so should be done shortly. So now at this point, my monster's attack is pretty high. Um, I'm just drawing the last pieces right now. Alright, so at this point what we're going to do now is, let's give him 200 high points. So what we're going to do now is definitely use stop attack first, or stop defense, I'm sorry. Um, I guess I'll choose a middle card. I think he sacrificed for that one. No, he didn't. Okay, I guess not. Uh, then you use this card here. Ryuku. Half his monster. And my monster will gain attack. Now we activate this card and give it to this monster. That way he'll have silver attack. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and attack him for the win. As you can tell we did over 10,000 10, damage. So we should get the reward. So we have over 600 attacks, so we get more rewards here. Um, these rewards kind of aren't that too good, but that's how we do it.
over time, you know, you just kind of keep doing this and doing this, and hopefully you um, end up with good reward cards because the goal here is to pretty much get um, be able to farm cards, sort resources, different gems um, over dueling. But yeah, that's a lot of farm. Uh, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, the mythical beasts or rebels could be obtained through the card trader here. I believe it's still there as of uh, March 5th, which is the day I'm recording this. It should still be there. It comes up every now and then. And you kind of have to just wait and hopefully it's there. And you can just trade it in. Um, once you do that, you should be pretty much good to go. But yeah, any questions, feel free to ask me. I'm glad to uh, help you guys out. Um, because I was definitely concerned when I first got this game. Figure out how to do that. Please have a good one.